Right, we're going to figure out the inverse Laplace of s plus 4 over s squared plus 2s minus 3. And if you notice, on the Laplace table, there's no entry that will give us this right away, right? But if you notice the denominator, s squared plus 2s minus 3, we can factor that, isn't it? So let's go ahead and factor this, and we will get s minus 1 times s plus 3, isn't it? Well, in this case right here, we can use partial fractions to break this apart. So this is going to be, let's put down the inverse dot plus. And for the first fraction, we will have this for the denominator, namely s minus 1. And then we will add it with the other dot plus, which is the other fraction. So let's put it down as the inverse dot plus. And for the second fraction, we will have s plus 3, right? And both of these are linear, so that means on the top, we must have constant, constant. And now let's figure out what the constant is. Well, to figure out this constant, as you can see, the denominator is s minus 1. And all of my s are in red, OK? Anyway, I will come back to the original. I will cover up the same exact denominator, namely the s minus 1. And you have to ask yourself, how can we make this factor equal to 0? Well, we have to plug in s is equal to 1, isn't it? OK? Then plugging 1 into this s and that s, but don't do it right here, right? So with that being said, you see we have 1 plus 4, which is 5. On the top, we have 5 over. On the bottom, 1 plus 3, which is 4. This is 5 and then over 4, right? And this is an s. This is the constant that we have. And now let's do the same right here. I will come back to here. I will cover this up. Well, how can I make this equal to 0? I have to have s is equal to negative 3, isn't it? Well, on the top, negative 3 plus 4 is going to be positive 1. So let's put down 1 and then over. Plugging negative 3 into here, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So we have 1 over negative 4, like that. All right? And now um, we figure out the constants. We can, of course, do this. I can take the constant to the front, if you would like. Let's put down 5 over 4, like this first. And then look at this as 1 over s minus 1. Well, the Laplace of 1 will be um, 1 over s minus 1. We know that has to be e to the 1t. In another word, just e to the t, right? And then for this, let's go ahead and take this to the front. So we have minus 1 over 4. And then look at this as the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 3. Since the bottom is just linear, we just have to have e to the something again, right? This is the same as saying s minus negative 3. So we have to have e to the negative 3t, just like that. And this right here is it. So this is one of the situations that just use partial fractions so you can break the fractions apart and then you go ahead and do this and that. That's it.